This is Quidditch, as played in the world of Harry Potter. Two teams fly broomsticks around a pitch. They use different balls and have ring-shaped goals to shoot at. From Hogwarts to the University of Central Lancashire, this is Quidditch in real life. Yeah! These are actually made of plastic, uh, so they're PVC. Uh, that way it doesn't hurt people when obviously you're tackling them in the game because it's a full contact sport. Of course, flying broomsticks haven't yet been invented. Every now and again you'll probably see a silly selfie of someone jumping in the air with a stick between them, so it looks like we're flying, but really the game is about obviously running around fast-paced, a bit like rugby really. Last year, Quidditch was officially acknowledged as a sport in the UK and it's getting its own Premier League. It's already well established in the USA and seems to pull in the crowds. Not quite the same in Preston, yet. But they are fiercely competitive, so if you're starting a match, it's probably better to leave the field quickly. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. No, that's sooty, isn't it? Uh, brooms up. <laughs> Preston's opponents from the University of Liverpool were flying, so to speak. <laughs> Repeatedly throwing a quaffle, or a ball to you and I, through opposition hoops. When we were at Northern Tournament uh, a couple of weeks back, it was, it was deadly serious. It was pretty savage at times. And it was he who sealed victory by grabbing the snitch, basically this man's tail. Game over. Everyone's just so nice. Like there's, It's competitive when you're on the pitch, but as soon as you're off the pitch, everyone's just friendly and nice. Zach, I can imagine you in the world of Harry Potter. Yeah, well, I've always been a great fan of Harry Potter and Quidditch is good for it. A view the sport's increasing number of players can relate to. Ian Haslam, BBC Northwest Tonight.